morning world it's nine o'clock in the morning it's the 18th of may i've got a lot to talk about so i'm going to cram it in what i have here is a roll of posters 10 of them all the posters you see there the crop circle posters i've got a complete set including the latest ones so i'm going to laminate them and put them on my wall because so many of you like them and yes i can i can pass on the details of how to get them to all the people who want them i've got the contact details now I went out into crop circle land yesterday. I was driving around, just feeling, you know, just looking at the fields, looking at the, the canola and the wheat, and it's all about a foot, foot and a half high, and it's fertile, and yeah, the circles are not far away. It's circle time. Another week, maybe another week and a quarter, the circles will be out, and then, then the tone of my daily broadcast will be changing. They might be coming from crop circles in the fields. Um, Moon as I speak, 29 degrees Leo. Next week, someone's asked me to do a section on 29 degrees, and that's a really, really good idea. I'm going to be looking at 29 degrees of every sign of the zodiac, because there's a lot of interesting stuff around the very last degree, the very last day of each zodiac sign. Today, I'm away. I'm away doing a gig. Today, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in central Wiltshire. I'm in the middle of Salisbury Plain again at a garden centre doing readings for... A lot of nice people. And then tomorrow I'm at the Serenity Centre in New, well, near Newbury, in between Newbury and Basingstoke at Tadley, again doing readings. Anyone wants me to come and do a session of group readings for them, I'll travel anywhere as long as it's financially viable. So if you've got 8, 10, 20, 30 people who all want sort of half hour readings recorded for their later use, I'm your man. Now, today, um, I want to do a triptych on Jupiter. So I'm going to look at Jupiter, the negative, Jupiter, the neutral, Jupiter, the positive. Jupiter, the negative. It's big. It's hot air. Look at Jupiter. It's made of gas. Thing is, it's not like Saturn. Saturn is so far from the sun, but its gas is frozen solid and it compacts in, giving gravity and density. Jupiter is twice as close to the sun as Saturn. So Jupiter's gas is much more active and it's mobile and it billows out. So whereas Saturn is about contraction, Jupiter's about expansion. Um, and... Jupiter is seen as a planet of growth. It's bigger than all the other planets put together, but it's over the top. And because it's made of hot air, it does tend to promise a lot more than it can deliver. It's larger than life. You get mountains out of molehills, things blown out of all proportion with Jupiter. It's overstated. This is where people can overspend. This is where, with people with difficult Jupiters, this is where you find them either, occasionally, believe it or not, anorexic, and more often obese, Often people with weight issues or large boned people even do seem to have very prominent Jupiters in a chart, often in difficult aspect. People with difficult Jupiters regularly make mountains out of molehills. They let things get out of proportion. Storms come in a teacup. A drama can easily turn into a crisis. There can be an element of hype and spin and over the topness in every direction, whether it is overweight, overeating, overindulgence, uh, overspending, overreaching, overstretching, overestimating. I can do this. Of course, I've, of course, I'm going to be lucky. Jupiter promises lots and delivers little. Jupiter is a white elephant. It promises far more than it delivers. Now, when I did a positive side of Jupiter, I'll give don't get too discouraged by this because this is the challenging side of Jupiter. Jupiter can be the spinmeister. It can talk for a living and offer no substance. It can talk great ideas, but where's the beef? It can overcommit itself and find itself just frenetically over-evolved with never enough time in the day. It can be the big mama or the big father. It can be the big parent in the relationship or the big anarchistic child. And it can also be the miser and the spendthrift. The hardest thing with Jupiter in a difficult way is to voluntarily choose to give oneself a good time, or at least to take the middle path every so often. If you have a difficult Jupiter in your chart, the best thing you can do is remember that Jupiter is the same as Jove from which the English-speaking people get the word joviality. As long as you can take the piss out of yourself, as long as you can laugh, even through the tears, 
even the most negative side of Jupiter isn't that bad. Catch you later.